In 2 Timothy 3.16, Paul is writing to his young protege or uh, mentee. I'm not sure what the right word is for that, but he's, it's a guy he's training named Timothy. And he's reminding him in this passage, that whole passage of, this is how you train people to follow God. This is how you mentor other people to follow God. And in the middle of it, he says this, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. This is one of the many places we get the idea that the Bible at least in its original, most perfect form before any translations or whatever else is spoken by God. And I do believe that, I really do. But what Paul's really saying here is even more relevant than that truth. And by relevant, I mean you can apply this to your life today. What's in the Bible, what's survived through in the Bible, the Old Testament and New Testament is stuff that God wants to use in your life. He wants to use it to teach you stuff, to sometimes reprove or, or rebuke you for something and say, this, this has got to stop, and it can stop with his power. He wants to correct certain things. He wants to train you and others. He wants to empower you to live out righteousness, which is the things that he loves, the way he designed life to be lived. That's all of the Bible is there for you. Is it perfect? Is it God's word? Absolutely. But what he's really trying to say here is it's useful. This is The Bible is there for us to connect with God. And I hope you read your Bible and I hope you really connect with him today.